actually allowed to go inside these places. I am not one for exploring uh, old houses, but I mean, it looks pretty cool. Got the old schoolboy look inside. I used to live in a place like this back in Brooklyn back in the day. Ooh, we can't use the front door. But they have a whole setup where you can go in through the front over there. Like I said, I like to violate locked doors. I find that way more interesting, but uh, uh, not Goodyear's house. Goodyear lived next door. Goodyear the tire people. So I guess after it became a banking island, they decided to spread the good thing around to some of their friends and people like Goodyear and Michelin wind up getting houses here too. Man, must be great to run in that crowd, right? Oh, uh, let's see. This one here, the front porch. If I go the correct way, it'll tell me whose house this is. But you know me in the correct way. We usually don't get along very well. But let's see what we got here. Uh, oh, under Georgia law, nobody's responsible if you get hurt. Okay, it doesn't tell me whose house it is, but check it out. Some old clothing. Oh, I guess, you know what? It just dawned on me. This must be locked up for unseen enemy issues, right? The island's open, but the houses are not. Didn't think about that. Yep. Definitely victim of the unseen enemy. Gotta be. Ah, uh, let's see who else lives down the street. Ah, uh, with neighbors like Vanderbilt and Goodyear, I'm guessing this was quite the great neighborhood. And man, they must have had an incredible school system, right? People like that, they ain't gonna let their kids be educated uh, by idiots. Well, let's see what other wonderful homes. Place is starting to get crowded. I'm starting to see the traffic on the main road behind me over there. Starting to be car after car after car. I think uh, getting here early for once was definitely the right thing to do, but... Yeah, let's, let's roll down the block. I mean, a house is a house, right? When I find a really spectacular one, we'll stop and take a look at that. Otherwise, enjoy the montage. Say this place is really beautiful. It is so peaceful and relaxing. Uh, I could easily spend an entire weekend a week here. Uh, I can get so much work done probably with editing and uh, video production. It's just it really leads to the type of environment that is just excellent for producing content, right? It's so relaxing and you have the beach and you have nature. Uh, I'm telling you, it, it reminds me a lot of Hilton Head but yet not as entitled. Remember, that was the land of the entitled. This is more like, uh, even though it started out as the place for the entitled and wealthy, it was turned into a place for the common guy. All I see here is regular working class people. Um, nobody that looks overly, you know, wealthy. Um, not a lot of simple, hardworking inner city people. More, I would say this is the middle-class island getaway Hilton Head would be the uh, high-end upper middle-class getaway uh, Jekyll Island is the absolute wonderful middle-class getaway and I'll be honest with you I like it better than Hilton Head since it doesn't have that whole entitled vibe going on to it and people and their kids are like way more respectful so yeah man I'm kind of digging this one I, I think Jekyll Island really has a lot to offer you can see the bay is absolutely beautiful. Uh, everybody seems to have one of those suspension bridges, right? Every, every place I go, 
that connects the mainland to the island if you don't want to take the ferry over. I actually did drive over today. I was going to take the ferry, but it was so super overcrowded. There was no way I was going to wear my mask and get on the boat. And then I would have to carry everything with me. The bike, I'd have to put it together then. And yeah, I think I made the right call by driving over. Uh, the ferry is a little quicker. And uh, I think it's only $6 and it gets you in. This was $8 to get you in, but I have everything I need. I'm not quite sure there's much left to today. The weather's kind of really turned on me. Uh, the next stop on our adventure was going to be the... Uh, they actually have a turtle rescue here on uh, Jekyll Island. Unfortunately, when I was talking with people over at the pantry, it is closed because of the unknown enemy. So, you know, the feeding tanks and the petting pools and the learning center closed, closed, closed. The gift shop and the lobby are open. So if you'd like to go in and make a donation, that's fine. And if you're interested in a turtle t-shirt, that's awesome too. But outside of that, uh, I think we'll pass on that one today. Uh, just don't see where it would be that interesting for you guys to see the gift shop. I wanted to actually go in there and, you know, see about making a donation and getting backstage. and Like I did at the uh, Dolphin Museum, get a real inside scoop on it, but... I guess that we'll have to leave that for another day. Like I said, I think I'll come back with Rini and uh, maybe make a vacation out of it. Take a long weekend with her, just relax. Uh, not even bring my camera, unfortunately, folks. Just gonna be a sporting, relaxing weekend. Getting some workout in and, you know, laying on the beach maybe and uh, who knows. Definitely go for a bike ride. And, me and Rini love to walk together. We walk and talk for hours, so this is definitely a place that would be excellent for that. The only other thing I could see myself doing is maybe finding a candy shop, because, I mean, that is usually our MO, right? I got the brownies, check, awesome this time. Uh, the only thing left on the list would be candy. I need to put the pounds on, but I'm not quite sure candy is the way. But, I hate that... Yeah, I just hate to disappoint Rini. Yeah, really, it's it's not so much me. I could probably do without the candy. But, I mean, I know Rini absolutely loves our little surprise candies. So, let's, uh, let's do a little more riding around the property. All the houses were pretty similar. The ones you saw in the montage pretty much all fail in comparison to the mansion. So, the mansion was the it. That, to me, was the most impressive house they have here. But if I do come along anything more interesting on the way back, I will share. But, let's get going. I think the rain's gonna intervene. Back in 10 minutes, story of my life, right? Uh, I finally find the island sweet shop, but it looks like they are on lunch. Ooh, no pets, you know I love that. Even though I love my furry friends, it's not a good place for them to be in a candy store. Ooh, looks like perfect timing for me to arrive. Looks like a uh, candy chocolatier has returned for the day and is about to reopen. Oh, there it is. Open for business, all right. Let me get my wallet out and we'll see what they have in there. Or well, vice versa. Everything. Everything. That's what makes it so difficult. You know, folks, I am just horrible. You know, I always forget to put this thing on, right? It's so nice to me, no one said anything. They should have. But let's put it on.
mess I made of that poor woman's store, huh? I am just a train wreck sometimes. But in my defense, I mean, I got my full gear with me, right? Forgot to put on a mask, had to put on a mask. Forgot to ask for Rini's raspberry dark chocolate truffles, had to go back for dark chocolate truffles. And then what? I mow everything down on the woman's counter. Ah, oh, man, I don't know why they let me in their stores sometimes, but well, folks, I guess this is really the end this time. I know I keep saying this is it, but I mean it. This time, this is it. 110%. I have my chocolate. Uh, we had brownie success. Man, I'm telling you, food-wise, what an amazing day, right? Everything we wanted came out our way. Uh, beautiful place. Like I said, definitely coming back with Rini. Going to spend some time. Nice long weekend. Maybe before my daughter. My daughter's coming in October. Maybe we'll come sometime in the next two weeks. But if anyone's interested... Jekyll Island, Georgia. Fantastic vacation for you. I'll put all the links and pertinent information in the comments down below. But as always, y'all know how we do it on this channel. Comment, like, share, love you. See y'all in the next one. Hey, keep asking. Maybe I'll put Rini in the next one too, huh? She's just been working so much, man. So unfair for her. But I know you guys love seeing her, so let's we'll see if I can convince her to come out with me on my next adventure. Ooh, the next one's going to be really good. Well, the next, the next away one. I got another local one coming, but then I got... I don't want to blow it. You'll find out soon enough. Bye. All right, I lied. I'm still here. Man, I just can't get enough of this place. You got to see these trees. This place has some super old growth trees, right? Check this out, man. I mean, do you see this? These things are like, thing is like 300 feet tall, man. It's unbelievable. I keep saying I'm going home. All right, that's it, guys. Bye. Have a wonderful time. Share, comment, like, and then I just get back on the bike and keep riding. This is probably why Rini doesn't allow me to go places alone very often, because I won't come back. It's not that I don't miss her, because I absolutely miss her to death, but man, I just love wandering around and getting me around some super old growth trees like these bad boys. Holy moly, man, I can't get enough of this place. Uh, I better bring us some more candy or something because I'm gonna be in super serious trouble. And I already got my brand new yellow sneakers dirty. Oh, she is going to kill me. I think on the way home, we gotta find some uh, color safe bleach and then we'll get that all cleaned up before I get home. All right, this is it. Absolutely signing off.